Welcome back. And Happy New Year! Today we conclude our series on unifying the gaming community. So, what benefit would we get from this, you might ask? The answer should be obvious. 2016 was a year punctuated by anti-consumer business practices in the gaming industry. We suffered one disappointment after another, and did we learn anything from it? Of course not. You're still going to buy into the hype, purchase season passes, and buy games from franchises to keep delivering the same game over and over again. Because we're so divided, game companies know they can get away with doing these things. There is an entire segment of the gaming community that will support their favorite company, platform, or franchise with almost religious fervor. No matter how badly they keep getting repeatedly screwed. The only way these companies get away with this is because we are divided. A united gaming community could stand against these practices and force the industry to change. Yes, I know we're just talking about games here, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth standing up for. That's because this problem extends beyond just games and into other industries. And if we can't stand up for ourselves in one, how can we do the same in others? That's why this is important. If we can unify and change the gaming industry, then we can do the same elsewhere. Imagine what we could accomplish if we were all a unified front standing up to the forces that want to deny us affordable health care, clean water, uncontaminated food, and basic freedoms. That is what is at stake. Standing unified against the bad business practices of the gaming industry is just a dress rehearsal for something much bigger. That is why unifying the gaming community is so important, why it matters. We need only the courage to make it happen. Thank you for watching. This concludes Season 2 of Chloe and the Professor. It is 2017 and our mission hasn't changed. To call out the gaming industry for their anti-consumer practices. And to help you, the gamers, become better consumers and stop being victims of those practices. Until next time, I've been the Professor. Enjoy your New Year's Day, and we'll see you next week. Well, I'm no one's fool.